Did you know that the first police vehicle in the United States was actually an electric wagon back in 1899? Fast forward to today and we're seeing history repeat itself with cutting-edge electric police trucks hitting the streets. But between then and now, some truly impressive police trucks have left their mark on law enforcement. In this video, we'll explore the most impressive police trucks that have served and protected communities across America. So make sure to stay around till the end. Number 7. Ram 1500 Special Service Vehicle SSV. Kicking off our list is a true workhorse of law enforcement. The Ram 1500 Special Service Vehicle. This beast has been serving police departments since 2012, proving that sometimes the classics just work. The Ram 1500 SSV is based on the DS series, which might sound a bit outdated, but don't let that fool you. Under the hood, you'll find a 5.7-liter Hemi V8 engine pumping out a respectable 395 horsepower and 410 pound-feet of torque. That's enough muscle to chase down most suspects or haul heavy equipment to a crime scene. One of the standout features of the Ram 1500 SSV is its versatility. With a crew cab configuration and four-wheel drive as standard, it's ready for just about anything the job throws at it. But here's where it gets interesting. The Ram 1500 SSV is limited to 106 miles per hour. Though it seems a bit slow, but remember that this truck is built for utility and reliability, not for breaking land speed records. What really sets the Ram 1500 SSV apart is its cargo management system. The available Rambox cargo management system allows officers to securely store their gear, accessories, and tools. It's like having a mobile equipment locker right in the truck bed. Perfect for keeping everything organized and ready for action. With Chrysler recently unveiling a facelifted DT series for 2025 and Hemi production potentially coming to an end, we might be seeing the last of these Hemi-powered police trucks. So if you spot one of these on the road, give it a nod of respect. It might be a dying breed. Number 6. Ford F-150 Police Responder Next, we have a true game-changer in the world of police trucks, the Ford F-150 Police Responder. Introduced in July 2017, this beast holds the title of being the first pursuit-rated pickup truck in the automotive industry. When it first hit the streets, the F-150 Police Responder packed a punch with 375 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque. But Ford wasn't content with that. They've since upgraded this law enforcement powerhouse, and the current model is even more impressive. Under the hood, you'll find a 3.5-liter EcoBoost twin-turbo V6 engine. Now I know what you're thinking, a V6 in a police truck? Trust me, this is no ordinary V6. This engine cranks out a whopping 400 horsepower and 500 pound-feet of torque. That's enough power to make most sports cars nervous. This truck can hit speeds of up to 120 miles per hour. And let's be honest, nothing says pull over quite like seeing this beast in your rearview mirror. Ford has packed this beast with features specifically designed for law enforcement. For 2024, they've added some nifty standard equipment like police perimeter alert, police dark car, and police engine idle. These might sound like fancy names, but they're crucial tools that help keep officers safe and effective on the job. Inside, you'll find a 12-inch digital instrument cluster and a 12-inch touchscreen. It's like a command center on wheels. And if that's not enough, there are plenty of optional extras available, including spot lamps and inoperable rear controls. Perfect for when you're transporting someone who doesn't want to go for a ride. Number 5. Chevrolet Silverado Police Pursuit Vehicle PPV. This isn't just any old pickup truck with a police badge slapped on it. No, this is Chevrolet's first pursuit-rated pickup, and it's here to give the Ford F-150 police responder a run for its money. The Silverado PPV comes exclusively as a crew cab with a short bed and four-wheel drive. It's like Chevrolet took everything they learned from their popular Tahoe police pursuit vehicle. Under the hood, you'll find a 5.3-liter version of Chevrolet's venerable small block V8. This 5.3-liter power plant is the perfect balance of power and efficiency. Speaking of efficiency, this engine comes with some clever tech called active fuel management. In simple terms, it can shut off cylinders when you don't need them, potentially saving fuel during those long patrols. But don't worry. When you need all eight cylinders, they're ready to roar back to life in an instant. All that power is channeled through a 10-speed automatic transmission. Fun fact. This transmission was actually developed in partnership with Ford. I guess when it comes to serving law enforcement, 
even competitors can work together. Chevrolet has given it some serious off-road chops too. It comes with Rancho shocks, just like you'd find on the Civilian Z71 off-road package. There's even an available 2.0-inch suspension lift that gives this truck a ground clearance of 11.35 inches and an approach angle of 25.9 degrees. That means this police truck can chase suspects even if they go off the beaten path. Inside, it's all business. The interior has been modified to accommodate law enforcement equipment, including an upgraded center console with extra storage space and multiple overhead consoles. There's room for everything from rifles to radios, and it's all laid out in a way that doesn't compromise the officer's ability to maneuver. The Silverado PPV tops out at 112 miles per hour. While that's not as fast as some of the other vehicles on our list, it's more than enough for most situations. Number 4. Ford Maverick the Maverick might be the new kid on the block, but it's already making waves in police fleets across the country. Departments like San Luis Obispo PD and Camarillo PD have added these pint-sized powerhouses to their ranks, and for good reason. What makes the Maverick stand out is that it's the most affordable truck in Ford's lineup. With a starting price of just $23,400 for the 2024 model year, it's a budget-friendly option for cash-strapped police departments. The Maverick comes with two powertrain options. There's the Atkinson Cycle Hybrid powertrain, which is perfect for urban patrols where fuel efficiency is key. This setup offers an impressive 37 miles per gallon on the combined cycle. That's music to the ears of any fleet manager trying to stretch their fuel budget. For departments needing a bit more miles per hour, there's the four-cylinder turbo engine, shared with the Bronco Sport Badlands. This power plant comes with an eight-speed automatic transmission, and an available twin-clutch rear-drive unit in the Tremor package, giving it some serious off-road chops. You might be thinking about the speed. Well, the Maverick is electronically limited to 110 miles per hour. While it might not win any drag races against some of the beefier trucks on our list, let's be honest, how often do police chases actually exceed that speed? For most day-to-day -day police work, 110 miles per hour is more than sufficient. And with its unibody construction, it offers a smoother, more car-like ride than traditional body-on-frame trucks. The Maverick is based on Ford's C2 platform, which it shares with vehicles like the Escape and Bronco Sport. This means it benefits from modern safety features and technology, which are crucial for any police vehicle. Number 3. Toyota Tacoma the Tacoma brings a unique blend of reliability, capability, and versatility to law enforcement duties. While it might not have the raw speed of some of the other trucks on our list, topping out at 113 miles per hour, it makes up for it in other areas. One of the Tacoma's biggest strengths is its legendary reliability. Toyota's reputation for building vehicles that can take a beating and keep on ticking is well-deserved, and the Tacoma is no exception. This durability is crucial in the world of law enforcement, where vehicles are often pushed to their limits. Its off-road prowess, especially in TRD trims, makes it an excellent choice for rural departments or those who need to access rough terrain regularly. From sandy beaches to muddy back roads, the Tacoma can handle it all. For 2024, Toyota has completely redesigned the Tacoma, and it's bringing some exciting new features to the table. The new model is built on Toyota's TNGAF platform and is shared with the larger Tundra and Land Cruiser. This means improved rigidity, better handling, and enhanced safety, all crucial factors for a police vehicle. But the biggest news is under the hood. The 2024 Tacoma introduces a hybrid powertrain option dubbed iForce Max. This system combines a 2.4-liter turbocharged engine with an electric motor, delivering a whopping 465 pound-feet of torque. That's more twisting force than some V8 engines. Number 2. Nissan Frontier The previous generation Frontier, known as the D40 series, was particularly popular among certain police departments because it could hit a top speed of 120 miles per hour in just 38.8 seconds. That's some serious acceleration for a mid-sized truck. Under the hood, you'll find a 3.8-liter V6 engine paired with a 9-speed automatic transmission. This combo provides a perfect balance of power and efficiency, crucial for long patrols and sudden pursuits. The current generation Frontier, introduced for the 2022 model year, carries over this powerful drivetrain. While it's electronically limited to 113 miles per hour, it's still more than capable of handling most high-speed situations a police officer might encounter. 
Its smaller size than full-size trucks makes it more maneuverable in urban environments. It can easily navigate tight city streets and crowded parking lots, a valuable trait for any police vehicle. The Frontier also offers impressive off-road capabilities, especially in its Pro 4X trim. This makes it an excellent choice for rural departments or those that need to access rough terrain regularly. Number 1. Ford F-150 Lightning Pro SSV Launched in July 2022, the F-150 Lightning Pro SSV is the first purpose-built electric law enforcement pickup truck in the United States. That's right, we've come full circle from that electric wagon back in 1899. That's right, we've come full circle from that electric wagon back in 1899. The F-150 Lightning Pro SSV comes in two flavors, standard range and extended range. If you go for the extended range version, you're looking at a whopping 580 horsepower. That's enough to make most sports cars nervous, let alone other trucks. But it's not just about raw power. The Lightning Pro SSV offers instant torque, which means incredible acceleration from a standstill. We're talking 0 to 60 miles per hour in under 4 seconds for the extended range version. Imagine a suspect's surprise when this silent beast comes rocketing up behind them. One of the coolest things about the Lightning Pro SSV is its versatility. While it might not be designed specifically for pursuits, it can handle pretty much anything else a police department might need. Need to haul equipment to a crime scene? No problem. The Lightning's got you covered with its onboard power supply. In an emergency situation, the F-150 Lightning Pro SSV can actually serve as a mobile generator, providing power to critical equipment or even buildings. It's not just a truck. It's a vital piece of infrastructure during disasters or prolonged operations. However, perhaps the most revolutionary aspect of the Lightning Pro SSV is its potential to change the economics of police fleets. With lower fuel costs and reduced maintenance needs compared to traditional gas-powered vehicles, this electric truck could save departments significant money in the long run. And in a world where every budget dollar counts, that's a big deal. The F-150 Lightning Pro SSV isn't just a great police truck. It's a symbol of where law enforcement vehicles are heading. It combines power, versatility, and cutting-edge technology in a package that's ready to serve and protect in the 21st century and beyond. So, which of these amazing police trucks would you most want to see patrolling your neighborhood? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe.